There's few things more beautiful in the world of food photography than a bowl of strawberries, but you can enhance them even further, make them look at their best with a little bit of styling, care and attention. So what I've done here is rather than fill up a large bowl with as many strawberries as I can, I've got a smaller bowl. I've packed it with some really nice looking strawberries. And don't be afraid to trim off some of the leaves or the stems if they're looking a bit too long or unsightly or messy. Now I've got them in a white bowl here against a white background, which is a terrible idea. You want some contrast in uh, tone and color. So I positioned the bowl on top of this nicely blue colored uh, tea towel. So I'm quite pleased with the contrast that I've already got here. So let's take a photo and uh, that's going to be our starting point. Now, a little bit far away here, I feel that we should be really concentrating on the strawberries. So the first thing I'm going to do to try and improve that is to zoom in. And you can see the actual pattern of the cloth going uh, straight up and down. And that is the first thing that I want to change. I'm going to rotate this around so that we've got these lines moving diagonally across the frame, which to me is more visually appealing and it leads your eye to the main subject. I also quite like that we can see a little bit of white space here in one corner and in the other. I do actually want to see the corner of the towel here. I think that looks nice. And the temptation would be to really smooth this out as much as possible. But in fact, it can often look more rustic and nicer if you scrunch it up a bit. That's going to give it a lot more texture. It's catching the light differently. And to me, that is a much more attractive looking composition. And it also means that we can really pose it a, a lot more easily. I'm going to just position that over there. And I think that is already looking quite tasty. So let's grab that picture and see how that looks. Pretty good, but those strawberries could still do with a little bit of extra help. And this is the big secret behind all food photography of fruit. And that is to spray it with a very fine mist of water. And I've just got a normal plant mist sprayer here. I've got it on the, uh, the finest setting here. And this is going to leave some droplets of water on the surface of those strawberries. And it's really going to catch the light and make them pop. They're going to look really fresh. The trick is to, is to take a picture after each spray because you may actually overdo it and look like they've been caught in a torrential downpour. So here's the first spray. So we'll have that. And you can see already it picking up the light with more reflections there. You see these little, little white highlights. That is where these, this mist is really picking up the light. Another. Maybe one from the other side. And I would suggest keep doing this until it's obviously over the top because it's quite hard to tell which ones are going to work best until you review them later on. But you can already see how they're really catching the light a lot more than they were before. It just makes those colors really pop and also really reveal the texture of the strawberry itself. So now it's a case of reviewing those pictures and see which looks best. Okay, let's play back these images and uh, see which we like best. Here's the first setup that I took and you can see the strawberries are way too small on the frame and I don't like the way that this background piece of material is so square. There's nothing jaunty about it at all. It, it, it looks boring. So I'm going to move on. This second shot is a big improvement for me. I've got closer to the strawberries. You can really focus on them. I've turned the fabric around and ruffled it up. So not only is the direction of the fiber more interesting, but it's, it's more crumpled. So it's catching the light in different ways. This is all personal preference. You may prefer it completely flat and square, but for me, this makes it a much more interesting picture. And it allows us to concentrate more on the strawberries. And if I take a closer look, you'll see that they look nice, but they don't look as fresh as they could. And there's, there's nothing on the leaves at all. So I think we can do better than that with our next shot. So here's our final shot after I'd sprayed it quite a lot with water. This was about the medium spray point here. And you can see how already the textures on the strawberries look completely different. They've, they've got a lot more reflections on them. They look more three dimensional, but also the leaves look a lot more interesting. They've got some droplets of water on them too. And again, it's up to you how much you spray. That may not look like enough water for you. You may want more obvious droplets on them. And of course you can adjust the size of the droplets on your spray for a different effect. But for me, this is looking pretty tasty.